let me explain certain things to you about the sun. Although we might have discussed some of these in the previous videos, because these are interlinked to an extent, but all discussions would be meaningless unless and until we certainly understand some peculiar things about sun. Now the sun basically in our solar system is the central part of the entire thing. It's central to our solar system, right? And the reason for this is basically it provides heat and light to all the other planets which are there. So there are eight planets in all. It is the sun which provides heat and light to all these planets. Now what exactly is sun all about? A sun is basically made up of hot gases and these are very hot gases. Okay. The sun basically keeps all these planets they never come, they might come somewhere in this straight row, but just for the purpose of example I've taken this. So sun is basically the binding force. So if the sun was not there, you wouldn't know how these planets would have been behaving. Now each of these planets revolve around the sun on a fixed path. Okay? And this fixed path is known as the orbit of the planet itself. The sun, unlike many of the other objects, has heat and lights of its own and this light is emitted. And you know, all these other planets are visible. Why? Because the sunlight falls on all of them. And the light of the sun is very bright. Okay, you must be wondering why during the day we don't see these stars or for that matter the moon. Why? Because the light of the sun is so bright that you are unable to watch all of them. These are not visible during the daylight because of the light of the sun. Right? Although sun itself is a star. Why? Because the star is nothing but something which has heat and lights of its own. So in terms of the categorization, the sun is itself a star. Can you imagine a life where sun is not there? You know, some of these days when the weather is rainy, cloudy and everything and when the sun doesn't come up, you feel a little bit of a unnerving kind of a situation, right? And can you guess how much is the distance of the sun from the earth? So the earth is the third planet, so Mercury, Venus, Earth. So if this is where we are, what is the distance between the earth and the sun? This is 150 million kilometers. You can imagine what's the kind of distance that is there between the earth and the sun. This distance is huge. So these are some of the key things, limited things which we had around the sun. I hope you would have understood this video. Questions most welcome. Thank you for being with us today.